Okay, so we've been finding solution sets already, but now we want to give a geometric interpretation of those solution sets. Okay, so we have a familiar line in R2. Um, I want to come up with a different equation that also describes this line. And then I want to talk about it kind of visually. Now, what can you do? What can you do? Well, we've got these vectors x, y. Um, if I have a vector that's on the line here, then what do I know? I know that x plus 2y is equal to 4. Or, you know, you could solve for x. You could also solve for y, but uh, that would introduce a fraction, which is not optimal. So what I'll do quite simply is take this x here and replace it with my 4 minus 2y that I found here. And y will be remaining as just y. Now I'll take this, take this expression here, I'm going to pull it apart, put kind of the constant parts together, plus the parts involving y, and then I'll factor out the y. giving me that. Okay, now I will say let uh, y equal t. Just a different letter that we use. So what you get here is you get uh, we can call this the vector x. It's a little bit confusing. The vector x, two-dimensional, containing components x and y. Putting all that together, we get x is equal to 4, 0, plus t, negative 2, 1. Okay, what do we call this? We call this the parametric vector equation. Parametric vector equation uh, for the line uh, in question here. Okay, so what's the words, where are the words coming from? Param parametric. This T here, this is called a parameter. Okay, it is something that is varying. You know, it's, uh, T is often, uh, in physics, T is time, right? Maybe you have this describing the motion of a particle in a straight line, and T is uh, time. So, and then the vector, the word vector here, is of course because we're giving uh, an equation that involves vectors as opposed to uh, the original equation that didn't involve vectors. This is sometimes called a scalar equation. Okay, let's draw a picture here to see why any of this makes any sense. Hopefully it does. So I will put uh, four over here, and I'll put two here. Mm -hmm. Put two. Well, why not? Two here. Minus two here. Okay. So where's the uh, where's the line go? <clears throat> um, just using intercepts. Just using intercepts. So looking here, when 
x is 0, y is 2. So I go through that point there. When y is 0, x is 4. So I go through this point down here. So the line is going to go do, 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 like that. So let's try to draw that. Da, 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 da. Da, da. There's my line. Now, what is the connection with these vectors here? Well, look at the vector. Look at the vector for zero. Is green going to show up? Your green. Is green going to distinguish itself? No. Pink. Okay, there we go. Um, so the vector for zero is this one here. That's this vector starting at the origin and going to the point for zero. Uh, and then it's negative 2, 1. Where can you draw that? It goes, this would be 1 here, and it goes like, uh, like that. And uh, not coincidentally, this, whoa, this vector. is this vector is parallel to my line. Okay, so this is not a coincidence. Um, let me just write down for now. The line in question is the line through. It goes through um, 4, 0, or the point 4, 0. And it's parallel to negative 2, 1. So this is this line we've been talking about from the beginning. I hope you can see. Is the line that it's it's the line that goes through here and is parallel to this vector here. So this vector here is sometimes called the direction vector for the line. Uh, this one doesn't often have a name. Sometimes I call it like you know the base point or the starting point of your line. You can think of your line as kind of starting here and then running parallel to this vector. Okay, one last thing I want to say. Um, I'm going to erase some things here, but I want you to instead just, uh, you know what, I'll just start again. Entertainment while I erase. Oh boy, press fast forward, press fast forward. Oh gosh. This is I want to draw a nice picture for you. I want it nice and clean. Nice and clean. No messy. 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 All right, oh, a little bit more. Okay. So I want to convince you of something that I think is important. You may disagree, but... but Oh, that hurts. So, I want to convince you that every 
point on this line. You can think of it as being uh, every point being a vector. And you can think of this line as being a collection of vectors that you know start at the origin and end up on the line. So I got one here, and one like this, another one like this, another one like this. So here's one. So I want to convince you that any vector, let's say x, let's call this vector here x. Uh, I want you to see visually that any vector x is indeed this vector plus something times this vector. So minus 2, 1 is, ooh, I'm going to have room to draw that, I hope so. Minus 2, ooh. Okay, so any vector x, so we're going to think about this one for now. Well, how can I get there? Well, I can go first of all from the origin, I can go to 4, 0, like that. And then I can take some multiple, or sorry, I can add some multiple of this vector, right? So I can, first of all, 4, 0, and then some multiple of that vector there will bring me. Out there. That is how you know I kind of make sense of this equation here. It describes the line here as a collection of vectors, all of which can be expressed this way as 4, 0 plus some multiple of minus 2, 1.